the biggest and fastest bomber ever made. Meet the fastest, largest and heaviest bomber ever built. All of these titles refer to the Tupolev Tu-160, aka White Swan. But do these things really make it great? And what is the future of the White Giant? The Tu-160 is a variable sweep-wing heavy strategic bomber. It was designed in the 1970s by the Soviet Union's Tupolev Design Bureau. Development of the original Tu-160 first began in 1972. The plane was made in response to the American B-1 bomber. The Tu-160 only entered service in 1987. It was the last Soviet-designed bomber. Only 36 aircraft were built. Production was halted in 1994 but later resumed. The nickname White Swan comes from the plane's color. The entire plane is coated in a brilliantly white reflective coating. However, NATO uses the designation Black Jack. The distinctive shape of the Tu-160 is formed by its swept-back variable geometry wings. It has a long lean fuselage, which ends in an upturned point in the front. The aircraft employs a fly-by-wire control system with a blended wing profile. Four engines are spread across the aircraft's wings. The most modern versions of the Black Jack uses NK-3202. These powerful engines propel the White Swan with 55,000 pounds of thrust. It gives the aircraft a max speed of Mach 2 with a range of 7,500 miles. That makes it the largest and fastest supersonic bomber today. The aircraft's total weapons load capacity is 88,000 pounds. Weapons are carried in two internal bays. Additional missiles may also be carried externally. That allows it to carry a huge array of conventional or nuclear weapons. However, the Tu-160 has some major weaknesses. One is that it is not stealthy. It is also the only Soviet-designed bomber with no defensive weapons. 2015 saw a decision to resume production of the White Swan. In 2017, Russia decided to modernize its Tu-160 fleet. These aircraft were used in Russia's invasion of Ukraine. They were employed in a standoff capacity. They fired missiles at targets in Ukraine from Russian airspace. Ironically, Ukraine inherited some white swans after the collapse of the Soviet Union. It used to have more Tu-160s than Russia. However, it did not have the resources to maintain such a fleet. It eventually sold eight of its bombers to Russia and scrapped the rest. The Tu-160 remains one of the most modern bombers in Russian service. But sanctions imposed on Russia could impede its modernization. Much effort has already been made to restart production. Russia's military leadership has big plans for the Tu-160.